Hi, I'm Mr. William, and today we're going to talk about Easter. And if you haven't noticed, I wrote it up here on the board, that's when Easter is this year. But today, I wanted to talk to you about our memory verse here. He is not here, he is risen, just as he said, come and see the place where he lay. Okay, so... This memory verse is talking about uh, some play, something that's very specific, right? Um, we are talking about a place in the Bible where there are several women who are coming to the tomb of Jesus after uh, he's taken down from the cross and he's put in this tomb. When they come, they don't expect to see Jesus alive, but they do actually meet an angel, right? An angel of light. And the angel is discussing with them what is in the memory verse. He is not here, who, obviously that's Jesus. He is risen, risen from where? Well, from death, right? Just as he said, well, wait a minute, when did he say that? Jesus said that three times prior to his death on the cross. And there were three times that he said that he was going to be taken away by the authorities and he was going to suffer, die, and come back to life. And that's what it says, just as he said, because he told us he was. Come and see the place where he lay. Now they're talking there about the tomb. And that was where Jesus was laid. He was wrapped and um, in linen cloth and um, they were going there to uh, anoint him with more um, like oil and spices. One of the things that I think is really interesting is that three times Jesus predicted that um, he was going to die and none of his disciples really questioned him very long on that. They didn't understand why he said that. But now after he died, they're going to find out more about those things because Jesus is going to come back and talk to them, all right? Now, why do we think that Jesus can be resurrected, right? He said that he was, but can anybody think about maybe something that he did to prove to us that he could have the authority to do that? Well, let's think. There's three people that Jesus brought back from the dead. So I'm going to go over those real quick with you. He raised the widow's son in the village of Nen and the 12-year-old daughter of Jairus, and then everybody knows Lazarus, right? Uh, the brother of Mary and Martha. He raised those three people from the dead. So, with including Jesus, uh, Jesus actually brought four people back, including himself. We cannot kind of believe that Jesus knew what he was talking about here because he was bringing people back to life before he died. So that's one of the first things I want to talk to you about. And this is like for a bonus point. Think about it. In the Old Testament, is there anybody in particular that did something like this? Can you take a look, maybe? Ask your parents, right? And I'll even give you a hint. There is somebody, and their name starts with an E. So think about that and see if you can find that out, right? I'm gonna read you a story on the resurrection, which has got a lot to do with our memory works, okay? So first I'm gonna to read to you from this book right here. And here we have two people, right? This is Mary and the angel that I was talking about. And these are the guards that are looking like they're sleeping down here, but they were supposed to guard the tomb, all right? So, on the third day after Jesus was crucified, Mary Magdalene and another loyal female follower approached the tomb. There was an earthquake and an angel of God came down from heaven and rolled the boulder away from the door of the tomb. Back in the old days, they would have these big boulders that they would put in front of the tomb to seal it off so nobody could get in. So the angel sat on the rock, glowing like lightning. That must have been really interesting. The soldiers guarding the door were so frightened they fainted. Well, that's why they looked like they were sleeping. The angel told the women not to be afraid. You were looking for Jesus who was crucified, but he isn't here. He is risen from the dead, as he said he would. 
The angel showed the woman that the tomb was empty except for the linen cloth that had been wrapped around the body. Go quickly, said the angel. Tell his disciples that you have seen what have you have seen and tell them also that Jesus will visit them soon. The angel went back to heaven and the women ran to tell the disciples the news. Suddenly Jesus himself stepped in front of them. The women fell to their knees and Jesus repeated what the angel had said and asked the women to hurry. Meanwhile the guards at the tomb woke up from their faint and ran to the temple to let the priests know what had happened. The priests gave the soldiers money and made them promise to keep it a secret. Instead, they said, tell everyone that his disciples stole the body while you were asleep. Don't let the people find out what really happened or they will worship Jesus forever. Now that's very interesting. You wouldn't think that, but that's probably what happened because the priests don't want to believe that after they've caused so much trouble for Jesus that he possibly could come out of that alive. One of the things that I'd like you to think about is when Jesus came back from the dead, what, what did he want each of us to know from that? Well, that he conquered death, right? And think about it. Think what else that he wanted to do. Maybe because he conquered death, he wants to have more of a personal relationship with you. And that's what we call prayer. So think about those things, and I will see you next week.